guys, this is Shannon with Shannon McTie Photography. I wanted to take this photo here and show you guys how to load brushes as well as how to use the brushes that come with the Zeppelin collection. So when you get the brushes from Greater Than Gatsby and you've downloaded to your computer, it should come, I believe, in a zip file. You'll need to unzip that file first. The next thing you want to do is once you unzip it, you're going to see a bunch of brushes in there. You're going to highlight all of them and copy all your brushes. Once you have made a copy of all your brushes, you're gonna go to under Lightroom Classic, which will be in the top left corner. You're gonna go click on the word Lightroom Classic, go down to the word Preferences. And then once you've done that, you'll make sure that this tab that says Presets is highlighted. You'll go to Show All Other Lightroom Presets double click on Lightroom, double click on local adjustment presets, and then you are going to paste all those brushes into this folder. So you can see I've already pasted them here. So you're going to paste them all into here and then you have to exit out, exit out, and you have to shut Lightroom completely down and restart it. Once you restart your Lightroom, your brushes will have been loaded into the brush section and you'll be good to go and you can use them. Lightroom definitely did not make loading brushes easy uh, as they did like loading presets. So it's a totally different step to load the brushes. So once your brushes are loaded, then you can use them however you want. So this particular photo I've already edited completely with the Zeppelin collection. The preset I used on this is called In a Tree. And so that was the main one. I also did like the, I illuminated the subject, the background. So I did all my steps in Lightroom and now I'm ready to do my brush work. And so I just wanted to show you kind of how to use the brushes. So when you want to choose a brush, you're going to come over here to this dotted circle and you're going to click on that. You'll see all that I have all these brushes already listed here and that's because some of the presets in the Zeppelin collection, they already have an AI portion so they're gonna load right here. So you can still make adjustments to them in this section if you want. But we're gonna go ahead and create a mask. The first one I wanna do is I'm gonna do a gentle blur. The gentle blur reminds me a little bit of like the satiny clean that's in the Tiny Dancer collection. So I'm gonna get a linear gradient and I'm just gonna start here and go right down to the middle there. And I'm not worried that it's hovered on top of my subjects. I can literally just click subtract subject, or let's say it's a different photo, you can subtract off the sky, you can select people and maybe subtract it off their clothes. So you have a lot of options on what to do with it, but I'm just gonna subtract it off my subjects. And then under here where it says preset, you're gonna go find the brush that you want for this particular one, I'm going to use Gentle Blur. And I love it so much. It's one of my favorite brushes. So if I turn it off and turn it back on, obviously you can see it gave it a nice blur in the background, but it also deepened the colors, which is what I love. Another way, another brush, if you don't want to do a linear, you could do a radial gradient. So I'm going to use a radial gradient for this one. I am going to get a radial gradient. Get a Nice big oval. The oval in the middle here is your hardness and this is how it feathers out all the way. So this is like medium hardness, I would call it. If you grab this and pull it in, now the whole thing has been feathered really gently or you can pull it all the way out and you can see you have a perfect demarcated line. It's gonna be a very hard brush. That's your feathering over here. So I like my feathering really soft. So I'm gonna pull it all the way to zero come over here to where it says preset and choose the brush you want. I'm going to choose Gentle Haze. And I like that it just created this nice hazy light right above them. I could take it off my subject, subtract it from my subject if I wanted to, but me personally, oftentimes when you have true light at your photo, it does leak onto their hair or leak onto their skin. So for me, it doesn't bother me that a little bit of the haze is on their hair. So I'm gonna leave it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dodge and burn. So I dodge and burn in Lightroom very similar to how I dodge and burn in Photoshop. So if you haven't seen me dodge and burn in Photoshop, it is a bit unique. Most people when they dodge and burn, they paint on the darkness or they paint on the lightness or the light. They paint it on the shadows and they paint it on the highlights. For me, I'm going to burn the entire image and then I'm gonna dodge by erasing and then lower the opacity. And I'll show you what I mean. For me, this is easier. I'm able to see my highlights easier. 
So I'm going to click radial gradient and I'm going to get a huge radial gradient and I'm going to make the hardness as high as it'll go. So let's see, I'm going to pull it all the way down to zero, the feathering. So it's at 100% hardness like this. Then I'm going to go pick the preset and we're going to do a burn brush. So it's burning the entire image. You can see how much richness and how much of a deeper color it has given the image. The next thing I'm going to do is subtract brush. When I'm dodging and burning, I'm usually in Lightroom between 85 and 90 on flow and density. And then be careful not to click one of these, but you just want to go over where your highlights are and gently erase where your highlights are and where you want your viewer's eyes to go. So I'm finding just all my highlights on their clothes. Do a little bit more in his shirt here. I'll even do just a little bit on the wood board right here. Give it a nice good dodge and burn effect. Then I'll get a big brush and I'm just gonna go over where the light would be right there. And so I like the dodging and burning right here. If I hover over, you can see what you have and haven't gone over. So if I turn it off, this is before, this is after. It's too dark for me, but I do love it. So what I'm gonna do now is come over here to the amount and I'm just gonna pull it down. And I think I'm gonna pull it right there at 40. So if I turn it off and on, it's just a little bit deeper, a little bit richer, and it makes them pop out a little more. And I like that a lot. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a radial gradient, make a big circle. You can see it's a perfect circle and that's because the feathering is at zero, so the hardness is 100%. So you wanna grab your feathering and pull it all the way up. And then I'm gonna click on Moody Light because it just gives this nice kind of creamy light to the background. And then you can kind of move it around. You can still adjust this. So if you want this bigger, you can make it bigger, smaller, and you can move it around on the screen. I think I want it kind of like the top left right here. So like the light that's coming in down on them. And then perfect. I like that quite a bit. And so then I would call this good with my brushwork. So this was the image without the brushwork. And then this is the image with the brushwork. And you can see it just polishes it up nicely. I hope this taught you a lot. And if you have any other questions or you want to know more information about the Zeppelin collection, please go to www.greaterthangodspeed.com.